everybody, welcome back to Tammy's Home Tips. My name is Tammy, and this is Ella, who just insists on being with me. So she's gonna be a part of our crew today, at least this part, the attic might be a little hot tough. But um, today we're gonna be talking about installing an antenna in the attic. If you've been following this series, I did the first video on um, installing internet in your house for very cheap for $50 a month without a contract and unlimited data. And then the second video I did was on assembling the antenna. And so this particular video will be on installing the antenna in the attic. So stay tuned and we'll get right to it. Yes, we're in a different place today. We're in the attic and we're talking about today how to install an attic antenna. We're gonna save money this way and if you've checked out my other videos on cheaper internet and how to assemble this uh, antenna, you'll see where we're at and you'll see how you can save even more money by installing your own antenna and then not needing the cable anymore. So stay tuned and we'll get this up. And I just wanted to mention first, um, in my assembly video, I didn't show how to put this on, but you're gonna use this U bracket to just attach it to here. So you're gonna completely unscrew this and then slide it in from this end and, and put the nut and bolt back on again. Um, and that'll allow you to mount it. So uh, you're gonna need an outlet source so I made sure I found an outlet source. And the other thing I did was figure out where my actual cable came in and where it distributes. And so I'm close by there as well. If you notice right here, I have the four cables going to the different areas of the house and you can see the cable line coming in. Just to make sure that it really is the coaxial cable, just test it with the tester. See if it's actually makes any red like it blinks red or anything like that now if you'll notice the difference here that's a live wire we, we're not wanting to cut into any live wires so just check um, with your tester and make sure that it is obviously it is but those that aren't experienced with electricity might feel more comfortable if they check those things so this is where we're going to be installing our antenna I would install it further in but I don't have a power source so I'm just gonna install it here um, another thing I needed was this distribution amplifier and I got one for four coaxial cables to come out of it so this will be where the power comes in and then this will be where the cable comes in from the antenna and then it will go out to the different TVs so um, that's what we're gonna put on first. And I'm just gonna put that on first here. Okay, so I had to put a mask on because the air quality up here is terrible. <laughs> so um, if, hopefully you can hear me. Uh, I should really get a mic, but I don't have one. So there it is. Um, so I've decided that I'm actually gonna place it here. It's close enough to the outlet and it'll give me, it'll give my um, device room to kind of rotate around so that I can get the best reception. So I'm just gonna mount it down up underneath here and I'm gonna first drill some pilot holes. So it says to use a 1 8 a 1 8 drill bit. So that's what I'm just using here. Well, it's not perfect, but <laughs> I really don't want to be up in this attic for very long. I don't think anybody's going to be looking at it, so there you have it. So now that I've put the pilot holes in, I'm just going to go ahead and screw it in. So we got it in. Now I'm going to just attach the antenna to the back side. So I really like this spot because I can actually move it almost in a 360, well, literally in a 360 degrees. And that way 
I can catch the, the channels. I think they're mostly going to be coming from this direction anyways. So this should be a really good spot. All right, let's get the rest of this hooked up. This is just going to connect now to the underside here where the um, actual cable, will, cable line will come out or the coaxial cable line. Now I have this connected. It's coming through here and I'm going to just attach it here to the um, amplifier and distributor. So it's going to come in right here. Now I haven't connected the power yet. So this would be a good time to mention that this is the point of no return if you're planning on getting your cable or internet hooked back up. The alternative to this would be to tie a line to the end point of the cable in the room that you're intending to add antenna service to. Then you just pull the coaxial cable out with the line attached. Then you would attach the coaxial cable that you're planning on adding to that box and pull the line back into the room. And this would put two lines of coaxial cable into the room. Okay, so now I'm going to the point of no return with my little clippers and I'm going to cut those coaxial cables and I'm going to attach it here. Um, but of course there's one more step in between there, but I'll show you that, so just stick with me. Clearly I'm making a commitment here. I just want to add here that wherever you decide to cut the coaxial cable, make sure it's long enough to reach the distributor amplifier. Just wanted to give you a close-up of what we're going to do here. So basically this is the end of the coaxial cable that I already cut off. Um, this is some wire strippers and a knife and also I'm using a wrench. Of course all of these things can be replaced by a tool that you would use just for this but I don't have that so that's what I'm, I'm just using these tools to make up for it. But basically, um, using the RG6 for um, coaxial cables to create a new end on it, and then I'll put this to the antenna. So this is basically what you will need, and you can pick this up at your big box store. So what it calls for is cutting off about a half of an inch. Uh, so first do that with just a knife, go about a half of an inch around. And let me get that off a little bit more. And you're going to just pull this stuff, the fibers here, you're going to pull them back and just kind of bend them the opposite direction. Like this. I don't know if you saw all of that, but anyways. I basically just cut the plastic piece off till here. Now um, I'm going to get the wire stripper and I'm going to put that in here and I'm going to go about a fourth of an inch up and I'm just going to go around here and pull that off. And that's what it'll look like when you're done cutting, uh, stripping at least. I'm going to get one of your tips. The tips look like this. And it just basically a hollow hole. You're going to be putting this into here and then you're going to crimp it down. It's really windy out today, so I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> it's been super windy. All right, I'll just push that in there. Give it a good heat hoe. This would help to have a little extra strength for this, but anyways, I can manage. And then we're just going to crimp it down just to make sure, again, I don't have the right tools, <laughs> but you know, sometimes you can improvise. So I'm just using a wrench, but if you have the right tool for this, it comes in like a, a package um, and you can buy it all together. It's like $22 or something. Um, but is what I've got so I know it looks janky but it's it's really on there now so that's it you're gonna do that with all the cords that you're planning on connecting all right let's get that all hooked up so as you can see here this is what the final product will look like you will have the cable coming in from the antenna 
into this top part here and the power will come in at this location and then the four cables that will go out to the rooms will come out on the other side so you want to hook it up like this. It is recommended to hold off plugging in the distributor amplifier until you're done hooking everything up. We did it guys. We actually got the antenna up and working. I was able to scan 77 channels on my TVs and they all worked. I am so excited and I can't believe I hadn't already done this like years ago. Um, it's great to save money. I know I could have saved probably thousands of dollars already if I had done this before. But hey, if there's no time like the present to save money. So if this is something that helped you or helped you to see that it's something that you can do, please be sure and subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button even if you don't subscribe. I appreciate all your support and thank you for watching Tammy's Home Tips. Have a great day.